well, we'll never have another Christmas like it, I don't think. So Hebden Bridge sits on two, is a junction of two rivers, and um, on Christmas Day evening, the flood sirens went off, and um, a lot of the local people were out cleaning roads, and we thought we kind of got away with a flood. There was a few puddles around, and it seemed to kind of cope, and um, you know the water drained away. And then we were all woken up again at about seven o'clock on Boxing Day morning with the flood sirens going off and the river was, both rivers were absolutely full. I only live in a little village on the outskirts and I've been watching it on social media, which again is painful in itself. Um, and I was we came in and couldn't get in to the property. My son was down from Newcastle and my daughter was home from university. And I was so grateful that they were there because the next day, although it was painful sitting at home knowing that this was all down here waiting for us, the next day they were with me to walk through that door to hold my hand. Um, and, and I kind of needed that. Sorry. Um, compose yourself. Um, I kind of needed that family and friends around me to just walk through initially and just take it all in and help. What happened was uh, we got a call from somebody in the local authority, or my predecessor did, to say, can you open the town hall and can we start to use the town hall as a response um, location? So we said yes. We said yes to the request and opened the building and it just became this amazing centre where everyone could congregate and where everyone was in the same position, we had to go together because it was so emotional. We, the minute you got there, you were, I mean, we were in shock. All of us were in shock. The whole town was in shock. But the minute you got to the town hall and saw everyone else in the same position, it just brought up a, a, so much emotion in us all. We, and, we, and we weren't alone. We weren't the only ones in there crying. We weren't the only ones in there offering hugs and receiving hugs and offering kisses and receiving kisses. Everybody, you know, everybody was doing it. And there, there were, it wasn't just businesses. There were homeowners there. Um, and then people who hadn't been affected that were just coming down to try and help. So it was a real sense of community there. And we needed that. I don't know what we'd have done without it, to be perfectly honest, on, on the day. We're very conscious of not trying to talk about um, us having a benefit out of the flood because obviously so many people have had so much heartache as a result of it. But actually from our point of view, in our role as the community association running the town hall in the centre of Hebden Bridge, the flood has had, uh, I wouldn't, you know, perhaps a transformational effect. It certainly moved our relationship to the town on to another level, I think, in terms of people wanting to come here, enjoying the space. And, and seeing us in a different way. So, I mean, obviously, because so much of the centre of the town was flooded, our cafe got people coming to, to, to us because the cafes were, were flooded. Uh, you know, people who previously rented rooms in other, in other community buildings were coming to us because those buildings weren't, weren't, weren't operating. But actually, I think above all that, there were lots and lots of people who came into the town hall who perhaps had this perception of what it was before uh, or what they thought it was or how they thought it would be and saw it in a very different light. I think I was unaware of how valuable a community resource it was until the Boxing Day floods and it made me realise that it's a very essential part of Hebden Bridge community. We are a good community. We do say the town hall itself is an example of what a community Hebden Bridge is because it hadn't been thought for just the Hebden Ridge people, the town hall wouldn't exist. It's a, it's a really interesting challenge as a, as a place as well because it's, it's, it's so well loved, it's got such a good centre. Uh, it, it acts as that centre for the town. Uh, and, you know, as I, said, as I said earlier, that we, you know, the whole idea was to recreate a town hall as the centre of civic life. Everything that happens in the town happens here. That's what we try and make happen. Um, and uh, you know, and I think it does it, and it's just wonderful to be part of it. I love it.